In today's video, we're going to create an Android mobile application using Flutter that integrates with your own custom services using gRPC and how ServiceStack's gRPC support makes for a great developer experience. Jumping straight into it, we're going to use the ServiceStack.NET X tool to create our new gRPC backend. We can do this using the command x new grpc space my app. This application will host our grpc services for our Android mobile app. Navigating to our newly created solution, we can then open it with our favorite.NET IDE. Here I'll be using Rider. Once open, we can see that our grpc templated application has our usual four projects, and it's specifically configured for grpc using the grpc feature plugin. This plugin gives our services the ability to generate a .proto file for our registered services. Here we have our hello service, and the grpc plugin will automatically create our message contracts so that we can generate our grpc clients. Running our application will host the Hello service on three different ports, including 5054, which we'll use for our Flutter application. Next, we will create our Android Flutter application also using the ServiceStack.NET X tool. Navigating into your newly created solution directory, we can run the command xmix space flutter grpc. This uses your locally installed Flutter SDK and creates a templated Flutter application that's already integrated with your Service Stack gRPC backend. Once all our Dart dependencies are installed, we can open up the myapp underscore Flutter directory in your myapp solution folder. This will be where your Android Flutter application lives and we can open it with Android Studio. This Flutter application is already set up to communicate with your locally running ServiceStack gRPC application. Let's start our Android emulator so we can test this live integration with our locally running gRPC server. In the main function of our Flutter client, it detects if we are targeting Android in debug mode and points our Dart gRPC client to our locally running server using the base URL of 10.0.2.2 using the port 5054. This is an insecure port our server is already listening on, and our generated client matches the single hello service that we have in our gRPC server. Looking at the integration point of our client, we can see it's using a generated gRPC client that's calling the getHello method passing a hello request DTO. The Dart code for this generated client is declared in the various services files, which are based on the services.proto file. These .proto files contain the definition of our gRPC services using the protobuf format, acting as the interface definition language. Our service stack gRPC server actually generates this file from the services that are running on the host. So if those services change, the generated .proto file from service stack changes to match that interface. Now, with our emulator started and our application deployed to it, we have two pieces of functionality on this application. First, the default counter wired up to the plus button at the bottom right, as well as a Hello World integration which talks to our gRPC server. Selecting the input field will trigger a request to our running gRPC server and display the result below the input. As we type in our emulator and make changes, we can see the output of our gRPC server updating with each interaction. So with just two commands from the servicestack.net x tool, we have both our gRPC server application taking requests from our Flutter Android mobile app. We ran the x new gRPC my app command, creating our gRPC backend, and the xmix flutter grpc command to create our flutter android application and we have an integrated solution ready to modify let's walk through making the change by adding a title property to the hello request on our grpc server to see how this iteration works 
When creating or updating request DTOs used by gRPC services, be sure to include the data member attribute with the order property as gRPC services require this. Adding this property and rerunning our application, we can then use the servicestack.net x tool again to update our services.proto file and the generated gRPC client. Navigating our CLI to the lib folder in our Flutter application and running the command xproto-dart along with our normal HTTPS base URL, which in this case is localhost port 5001. This command will pull down our updated .proto file from our running service stack server and then update the generated Dart client in the same folder. Now, when we interact with our hello request DTO, our title property is reflected in our client and we can pass a value. Saving our changes and rerunning our Flutter application, we can see our updated result text reflected in our application. Not only is this a really fast way to work on the server and client application integration at the same time with gRPC, Flutter and server stack, but we also have the confidence in our integration since we have a typed end-to-end -end service. This means we can leverage not only the Dart language type system, but all the related tooling in Android Studio to make sure our code is correct and our integration works the first time. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the ServiceStack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.